everyone. Welcome to another tech tutorial. This is Michael Cohen, the Tech Rabbi. And today we're going to run through how to create a diagram using Adobe Spark Post. But this is Diagram 2.0. When you look at a traditional diagram worksheet, the students memorize the information, they spit it back to you, everybody produces the same exact final product of learning, which is, here's this worksheet, put those pieces of information in there, and then turn it back into me and you'll get a grade. And if that information is critical for the students to know, I have a challenge for you, which is, how can you use Adobe Spark Post to create that same type of information output, but also give the students the ability to have a personal experience with it, to challenge their ways of critical and creative problem solving, and also learning really strong visual communication skills, which is that you're getting that information back, but it is a way that the students have come up with some sort of artifact that is deeply personal, and has this visual communication strength behind it. And it won't take that much more. The breakdown of this design process was once I had chosen each text box, I actually use a add icon. I searched for an arrow. And each one of these, the text box and the arrow, was simply duplicated, rotated, resized, and repositioned. At this point here where you see the differentiation in color to get the shark facts and the different components of the shark facts to pop. As you see here, when you select the type tool and a text box selected, there is a secondary option. And I just was able to literally click on each color uh, or each word that I wanted to emphasize. And then I was able to get that secondary component. And if I don't want that secondary component, then I'm able to click off or click on. And as you see here, it will turn off and on. So with that, let's get into the demo. 